Yeah. All right, look, look, this is how I'm going to start it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of go general so we, we knock out all the questions. I'm going to just knock them out because I know what y'all going to ask. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yesterday when I met with um, when I met with Roger, it went well. Um, I'm not going to get into the details of what we discussed in the meeting, but it went well. I think we got accomplished what we need to get accomplished. Um, so, obviously, happy I got a chance to do that. Happy he gave me the opportunity to come up there um, because – Obviously, I know that's not really protocol, but I mean, he gave me the opportunity and I uh, took it and went up there and met with him and it went well. Um, on to the Las Vegas incident. Obviously, I haven't talked in a while. It's been a couple months, 18, 19 months that I've been dealing with this ordeal, obviously. Um, it's a tough ordeal to be in. Um, you know, I never want to be involved in something where someone gets hurt or severely injured or anything. Um, poor judgment on my end, uh, definitely a, a bad decision, but I'm a man, everything I've ever done in my life I stood on and, and I, I, I can take accountability for it and I can say when I'm wrong. And I was completely wrong, embarrassed the Saints, embarrassed uh, my family, my mother, um, embarrassed myself, um, embarrassed the city and the Shield obviously embarrassed the NFL. So, you know, I just tried to do my best to kind of <clears throat> keep it as much away from the media and as much away from the team um, as I could. You know, obviously it's, it's hard to do that when, you know, you got such a um, – uh, a incident like that so um you know I, i'll be lying if i said it wasn't tough i've lost a lot uh throughout this ordeal definitely not looking for any pity not looking for somebody to give me a pat on the back and say it's okay um i know what i i know what i did i know what i was involved in and um i definitely take responsibility and you know that's that's part of being a man and growing you know from here i just got to make the right decisions and, and make the right choices so um that's kind of what i got to say about that so now Let's talk about football, because <laughs> I'm back. Hey, Just, before we do that, that, did Roger give you an idea of a timeline of when you I already hit on that. We had a good meeting. It went well. That's all I got to say about that. Is there anything you've learned from this, though? I mean, yeah, I did, like, I, you know? yeah I, did, I mean, I definitely have. Um, you know, uh, obviously, we know what the incident was. Um, just making making a uh, – judging that situation better. You, you never want to be in a situation where, especially um, in the position I'm in, uh, being a leader and being, being a um, – just kind of like a role model for children. I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want to be in a position where I put my hands on somebody. Obviously, that's the last thing you want to do because one, you, it comes with trouble, and you know I, it could have been worse. You know, so I'm I'm blessed that it wasn't worse. Um, obviously, still hate that it happened. Um, hate um, hate the whole situation. Um, like I like, uh, I, t I told Mickey, I told um, DA. I mean, all everybody knows they know me around here. So just talking to them throughout this whole ordeal, and luckily they've been supportive. Miss Benson's been supportive. Mickey's been supportive. My, the whole team has been supportive, really. And, you know, it's just it's unfortunate when, I mean, you make a decision like that. But I know my character. Um, I know who I am. And luckily, I'm somewhere where these people know who I am. The city knows who I am. So um, that's kind of kept me going. But I've definitely learned that, you know, in, in the blink of a lot, and I, a lot can change. So um, definitely just got to make the right decisions and now uh, going forward. And just a matter of just walking away? Uh, you never know when you can be in that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's more than just walking away. It's, uh, you know, some of those situations. I mean, I was out at 5 in the morning. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, not, what, what, what Tony Dungy used to say. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing good happens after 12, after midnight. So, you know, uh, it's kind of just gauging those situations and, and being able to, uh, you know, make the right decision and, and being where you're supposed to be and, and sometimes taking yourself out of position and, and not being in those places. So. Has that incident affected your preparation for this? No. Just in terms of football? It, it, no, not at all. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, it was a situation, obviously, and, uh, you know, I had to deal with it. Um, this, like I said earlier, I'll be lying if I said it hasn't affected me. It's affected me. I mean, last season, it's affected I mean, it affected me every day, you know. Um, like I said, I lost a lot. Um, I've lost monetary, monetary. I've lost some friends. I've lost some support from some people. But, I mean, like I said, I, I've had a ton of support from this organization. I've had family and friends, you know, um, and, you know, the people that, that know me and that, that know what I stand for and that know what I'm about. Um, that's kind of like what's pretty much kept me going, you know, and uh, my faith. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I'm not glossing over the situation and, and downplaying it in any way. It was um, poor judgment on my end, and it, it was obviously unfortunate, and it just got to be a um, thing where I'm mature, take, take ownership of it and, and make better decisions going forward. Does it feel freeing to put it in the past? Yes, though? it does. It does. I miss talking to you. <laughs> but now nah, it does, man, because, like I said, it's just it's, it's hanging over you. It's hanging over you. And, it's I mean, obviously it's self-inflicted, but nonetheless it's still something that's, you know, it's like a dark cloud. Like it's hard to 
it's hard to kind of enjoy some of the smaller things. Like, I don't know, today I just had like a little boost at practice. I just felt better, like a weight was off me. So uh, I'm just, I'm looking forward to just focusing on football. When did you make the decision to come talk to us right now? Was this just that you made that decision? No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I knew I was gonna, I knew I was gonna talk. Um, I mean, I, I, like I said, I met with Roger yesterday and I, I knew after I met with Roger, I was probably gonna just kind of put it, put, put this chapter behind me, just kind of close it off and, and you know, kind of give the, the spill, so. Alan, has it excited you that they've kind of made an emphasis on getting you more involved in the passing game this camp? Yeah, man, you know, me and Pete, um, we had a long talk. It was heated, it was an argument. <laughs> no, I'll just play it, but. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I think um, DC uh, he, and even, even Jameis, I think some of the opportunities last year just weren't there like we've seen in the past. Um, and I'm sure we, we talked about it as an offense just without the without the coaches and I'm I'm sure um D C Jameis and, and, and Pete and all those guys, R C all of them are up there talking about it and you know, I think I'm one of the most effective backs in the league when I get the ball in my hands, you know, out of the backfield. Um just running routes, catching catching the ball, um, splitting out the receiver, doing doing those things that, you know, I, I, you guys have known me to do. So uh, the emphasis this year, you know, obviously going through camp and, you know, being able to kind of get back in that groove of, you know, splitting out and getting some more balls out of the uh, backfield and just getting creative with my pass catching side has been, uh, like, it's been exciting and I'm definitely excited. I know you're. say about the offense and the team that you guys were able to meet as a team without the coaches and talk about those things? I, it wasn't like a formal, like, okay. a, yeah, but it was just, you know, just individual player to player and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's just, it's one of the. When you have a, 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 a team with, with talent and, 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 you know, good players, good personalities, you know, being able to communicate is one of those things that I think a lot of people take for granted. But, you know, this team communicates, um, this offense communicates, um, I think, pretty, pretty well, like up there with some of the better teams I've been on, you know. So I'm excited for that because, you know, it's, it's sometimes, like I said, you take that for granted, being able to communicate with your quarterback, your fullback, your lineman, uh, a receiver, just about little things, little intricacies and in plays. Is this offense kind of at its best in general, though, like when the playmakers are getting the ball in space, not just you, but like the receivers and everybody catching runs and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think uh, everybody's seen it. You know, Mike T back rolling. I think he's looking good. He's, he's coming back in the form. You know, he, he's one of those dudes that takes so much pride in what he does. You know, he, he I, told, I tried to remind him the other day, I'm like, bro, you ain't played in a minute, dog. Like, you know, you played at the beginning of last year, but, you know, consistently just being on the field and, and you know, getting his field back, you know, after the, the uh, injury he did with him, I'm like, man, look, take it slow, but I know you want to be, a, you want the ball right now, but like, you, you, we know, we know. So, I mean, he's getting back in the form. Alave uh, going into, a, coming into another year and, you know, understanding the offense more, understanding the defenses more, understanding, you know, what it takes to, to, to be elite, you know, in this league. Um, you know, all down the line, Trevor Pennon getting in there, um, Caesar, um, Hurst, and Eric, and, and Ram, you know, those guys, when they're going and they're healthy, and Pete, obviously, but when they're healthy, I mean, like, it's scary, you know what I'm saying? And, some, and in the past years, that's kind of a problem we had, staying healthy up front. And, you know, it's, it's, it's hurt us, obviously. I mean, all around, you know, I've been hurt. Mike's been hurt um, a couple times, you know, so, I mean, um, it's just – this whole offense, like I'm just excited when everybody, everybody is going and, and you know getting in there. So he, you know, he he was one of those guys. I was just talking to Gruden. I was like, man, that's one of them dudes. Like, you don't see those type of dudes a lot. You know, he a burner, got good hands and, and makes plays. So w with him, you just give him as much as he can handle every day. Just give him more and more. Um, and then I mean, some of the young guys we got at, and then obviously Jimmy's back. You know, too. Me and Jimmy. I, I've been knowing Jimmy for a while. I've been training with Jimmy since I came into the league, you know, training down in Miami. And, um, I'm excited that he's back and he's feeling good and, and he's going. Um, you know, Jawan, all these, I can keep going, you know, but all these guys, I'm excited to see these guys uh, go out and, and compete and, and just, you know, work together and, and, and try to, you know, make this offense like the best in the league. What about the depth of the running back room? Does that, mm -hmm. does that help you at all? Yeah, I, yeah. And I, 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 try, I always skip over that because, you know, that's the group I'm in. But, you know, we got Eno, we got. Um, we got Kendra coming in that, you know, he's learning, um, young dude, but is hungry and, and wants to learn and wants to listen and wants to be great. Um, Jamal, me and Jamal came out same class, dude was crazy, like, but I mean, his mentality and his approach to the, to the game, to, to every, I mean, even outside of football, like just his approach in life and just coming in and, and, and just being like that, that, that smile that comes around the corner, like greeting everybody, saying what's up, like. Those are some of the things that are infectious, and you know that that gels a team together. But even his on the field play, I mean, the dude is is passionate. Like the passion that he plays with, you know, it's not. I haven't I haven't seen a lot of guys with that same drive and that same passion. Like he just takes so much pride in, in what he does, and he wants to be great. Um, Adam, you know, Adam, he he's.
coming into his own. I, I love Adam, what he does and what he brings at fullback. Jake is doing well. Um, you know, I'm, everybody everybody's doing well, man. The, the running back room, I'm excited because these guys, I mean, Ellis and, and, and you know, these guys are wanting to work. They're hungry and they're, they're willing to do what it takes. And, you know, I, I, I kind of tell them at the end of practices, I'm like, man, look, our goal is for JT not to say anything to us. You know what I'm saying? We got to be we got to be that on point and just that driven and focused and determined as a group, you know, without a coach saying anything to be able to be uh, what we uh, what we know we can be. So all I want from JT is a high five and a, and a good job. That's it. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to see a, a, a surface or anything unless we just, you know, unless we do something absolutely wrong. But, Al, Al, speaking of running backs, what are, what's kind of your thoughts on the, what's going on as far as getting paid across? Yeah, the, I mean, uh, like New Orleans is a great place. I feel great, um, you know, that I've been able to be taken care of and, and, and valued where I'm at. Um, I can't speak for everybody's situation. It's tough. Um, you know, circumstances are different across the league. Everybody's circumstances are different. So I'm not going to go into detail about, you know, this player not getting this or this player getting this versus this player. Um, you know, it's, I think it's something that is – I think everybody's aware of it. Everybody's aware of what's going on. Um, but I can only speak for my situation. Um, I'm in a blessed spot, you know. Alan, do you have a relationship uh, with Derrick Henry? Obviously yeah, we played together. And then, yeah, we had Bama, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, so that, that'll be a game, obviously, to kick off the season that the fans will be focused on uh, between you and him. Yeah, I mean, he plays offense, I play offense. So yeah. maybe between me and him, but not really. But, yeah, Derrick, that's my boy, man. We came into Bama together. Uh, obviously, I was there for a short little stint. But, I mean, it's amazing from – you know, seeing a guy, you know, we got recruited together in high school, then go to college together, and seeing the work he put in. Uh, when I got to Bama, he, he was an early enrollee, so when I got there, he had, I think he had just broke his foot, so he was rehabbing. But, you know, I mean, the work he put in throughout that, and then obviously his career there, and, and then coming into the league and still being that prolific, you know, runner and, and just doing all the things right, uh, it's, it's, it's cool to see. You know, when you know guys personally, like, you know, every we we all play in the same league. We kind of, you know, everybody kind of shows love to each other and respects each other. But when it's somebody that you know, I've I've sweat and bled with, and you know, kind of like really had a personal relationship, it's even that much sweeter. So um, excited! I'm always excited to see what he does. I just hope he don't do too good against us. How has the addition of Derek Carr impacted uh, man, the offense in your game so far? Man, DC, I think um, it's amazing to have DC. Um, I think he, he he's a thinker. He loves the game. Um, his communication is, like I said earlier, like, I mean, we all communicate. Jameis, from Jameis to D.C. to, you know, the receivers and everything. But D.C.'s just itching for, like, it, it seems like he's like a, 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 a rookie almost in his attack on, you know, trying to, like, get as much information and get as much, like, uh, I guess collect as much data from, from each player, like from me to Mike to A.T. to, you know, from, to Jimmy. to It's like he's in a rush to collect data and just collect information on, like, what makes everybody tick as far as, you know, routes and, you know, what they like, what they don't like, what they see, how they see the game, how they, how they, how they react to certain things. And, um, I mean, he's just, he's just a great dude all around. I think he has a, a winning spirit. I think um, he wants to be great. And I think he got like a little chip on his shoulder, you know, for as much as he's done in the league, he's still got that chip and he's still kind of got that, like, that, like, I'm going to show y'all. So, I mean, that's what I love. I mean, I'm, anything, any, anybody that, that still got that competitive edge and that drive, like, man, it's, it's, it's amazing to have, especially at quarterback. You know, you got a guy that's leading troops. I mean, he going to lead the troops. So, I mean, me and him, uh, obviously, I didn't come to OTAs, but me and him were talking, communicating the whole time. And, you know, I mean, shoot, I, I text him, like, I might be up at midnight, 1 a.m., like, and I might see something, like a play or something or a concept, text him, he texts me right back. You know what I'm saying? We're just bouncing ideas off each other's head, even, you know, out here on the field. Um, just, like, getting, getting, getting some – some stuff going on offense that we haven't done in, in, you know, the past year, year and a half maybe, just kind of being creative on offense, you know, with some with some shifts and emotions and, you know, different alignments and things like that. And he's ready. He's like, man, whatever you want to do, let's go. Shit, I'm with you. So um, it's good to have D.C. out there. Um, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see Alvin, what he's going to do. What's the approach and relationship like with Kendra Miller? Obviously, you can share it running back, but you don't yeah. share it. You, can, you know, I mean, it's yeah. also a young guy with some bravado coming uh -huh. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny because, uh, <laughs> you know, he 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 gets drafted and everybody's sending me, you know, his, his quotes. Are, you know, I can do everything Alvin Kamara can do, and I watched all this film. And, man, I, I like, I think everybody's like, man, what he said, what are you talking about? What you see that? I'm like, yeah, I see it. Shit, he's supposed to feel like that. 
You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's that's what that's what a competitor does. You know, when I get out there, I gotta spank him a little bit and show him like, man, it's different. Like, <laughs> hey, it's di like this shit is different. But I mean, he catching on, dog. Like he 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 he's really he's really catching on, and he 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 wants to be good. You know, I think it starts with you know the will to be good and 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 you know the will to understand and and, and learn and and just kind of be a sponge. So that's what he's doing. He's he's trying to beat the heat. He's trying to beat you know the the tempo of practice, the the style of uh, play that we have and. He he he's he's coming along. So I mean, he he's just a young guy. We're gonna we're gonna see what he could do. I, I'm excited to see him um, preseason. How about you learning to be a mentor? I know you've had younger teammates yeah. before, but not high draft picks. Yeah. You know, does it make you feel like, oh, I'm a veteran? Nah, I don't. I, I don't know. I've been I, I've been feeling old, man. I'm old, dog. <laughs> I've been feeling old, but uh, I, and this just comes from me coming in. You know, I mean, when I came in, I had Shavars Cadet. I had Mark Ingram. I had. Uh, Adrian Peterson. I had John Kuhn. So these was all, I was the I was the baby. Like I was like the I was like the I don't know. I was when it was reps that people didn't want to take. I was the Alvin Go. Like you know what I'm saying. So from then from from really probably like the third game of our rookie season. Like it, it just happened so fast, and it feels like I've been kind of absorbing so much information and, and trying to like spit it back out because that's all I know. That's what Mark and, and those guys did to me. And then outside of my group, I mean, I had say again, I had. Uh, <laughs> be cold. I had like you know a lot of other guys. Teron Armstead, even though he's a lineman, like these guys that just gave me so much game and wisdom and knowledge. So you know it just comes second nature, nature, nature on uh, in this realm as far as football. But I mean that's how I was raised. I mean I don't I don't lose nothing. I don't lose nothing by by uh, a candle doesn't lose its, any flame by you know lighting another candle. So I don't mind whatever he got. I'll give it to him. Whatever he need, I'll give it to him. I saw you connect with Derek on a deep more. wheel route today. I think we've seen that at least a few times this offseason. Mm -hmm. That downfield passing game with you seems like it might have been de-emphasized a little bit the last yeah. half of the season. Is that something you expect to get back to? This yeah, year? that's what, and I think Derek wants to more than anything. I mean, obviously, I know what um, what can happen when when we got that going. So, I mean, I'm I'm like I'm like just happy, 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 like jumping for joy. You know, when we can kind of when I see those play calls in or when we when we get things like that going and. You know, Derek is excited. Also, you know, I think the offense is excited from JT to to RC to um, to Pete. You know, all these guys, and then you know, DA stand back there and he just give his little nod of approval and we keep it moving. Um, when you talk about like the creativity that Derek wants to bring and all these other things you're doing, and you're meshing it up with some of the athletes and the speed and explosion. That it's scary. Are you excited? About yeah, it's scary. It's exciting. Like just like I talked about earlier. I mean, you got guys on the outside. You got Mike. You got Alave. You got uh, <coughs> Shahid. Um, and then I mean, you got. Other weapons. You got a tight end room with uh, Foster, and you got Jimmy, and you got Taysom still. You got uh, Jawan, and then you got running backs that can that, that can do different things. You got me. You got uh, Kendra. You got Jamal. Um, Adam can. Adam. Adam. I'm, I'm trying to stand on the table to get Adam some balls thrown his way. You know he could catch too. But uh, we just got so many weapons, and and it's exciting to like just kind of sit in a room and be like, all right, well, this ball went to C, this ball went to Lave, this ball went to Mike, and then we still have more playmakers to get the ball to. So the possibilities is endless. I know Doug about to stretch y'all off, but <laughs> how many more questions? I, I, I'll go, I'm cool. I'm in my groove, Doug. We good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alvin, how do you see the team to handle? Well, let me put it another way. You might remember, like, I think the year before you turned pro, yeah. Tom Brady won the Super Bowl yep. after he was suspended four games. And uh -huh. So how do you hope the team will handle, if you happen to miss games, the prospect of that happening, and how would you expect it? Man, I mean, shoot, if I get it, I, don't, I, I have no clue about it, uh, what a suspension, like like you said, like the question earlier, have, has it changed my preparation? No. So I'm preparing the same way as if I'm not going to get suspended. I mean, if, if when, or uh, if I do get suspended, if I don't get suspended, um, if I do, hypothetically, in this situation, obviously, I mean, I, I, I don't expect the team to miss a beat. You know, they got to keep going if I'm here or not, right? So um, I know these guys, everybody's kind of, that's kind of been the, the question mark, like, okay, well, is he gonna get suspended? Is he not gonna get suspended? And I don't think, I don't think Pete or Derek or DA or anyone is sitting here like, well, if Alvin gets suspended, then we we can't do this or we can't do that. They're gonna keep moving. They're gonna find a way to uh, figure out how to recruit. I mean, I don't know. It's gonna keep moving. Like, it's not, nothing is gonna nothing is gonna stop. I expect, if I do, I expect them to go and win for however long that I'm suspended. Like, it's just. I mean, it sucks to say. Like, I might, I, I could possibly get, be getting suspended. Do I want to be out there? Yeah, but I expect them. To, I, don't, I don't expect any drop off. I don't expect any drop off in our room specifically. I mean, Jamal's here. Kendra is coming on. He's gonna have to. I mean, if I do get suspended, he's gonna have to get in there and get in the fire and and and, and learn and, and and play well. Um, Adam and those guys are gonna hold it down. I mean, uh, 
it's, it's, it, it can't stop. It don't stop. One, one person don't stop the show. So. Hey, Alvin, real quick, with Cam Jordan getting his extension this morning, feel like he's, you know, he's kind of talking about finishing his career. Man, I ain't, I ain't going to talk about Cam. I'm going to talk about me. I, I, want a lifetime, I want a lifetime. I want to be here forever. You know what I'm saying? So I think y'all need to put some pressure on Mickey how, how y'all did with Cam when he said that. But, I mean, uh, obviously, me. You co-signed him on social media. Yeah, so like, yeah. Are you interested yeah. in that idea, too? Of course I am, man. I, like I said, I love it here, man. It's a, it's a lot of support here, but I'm going to get off me. I'm going to go to Cam. Me and Cam was talking about it. I mean, we've been talking about that for a long time. I mean, years. He's been like, man, I'm staying here. I'm staying here. So, you know, he was talking talking to me through his through his um, this uh, uh, current negotiation. Obviously, he signed today. Um, man, it's a, it's. It's amazing that he he's been able to you know put together the career that he's been able to put together and then all in one spot. Um, definitely happy for him. He got a little bit more money, you know. I don't know if he needed. I, I told him I just need lunch. That's all I need. But uh, I'm uh, I'm excited for him. Happy for him. I know you know Cam always got that energy and that pep in his step. But I think he got a little a little uh, a little more bounce to him today because he got that that extension. So definitely uh, congrats to him and then uh, great on you know. New Orleans, Mickey and those guys getting it, getting it done and, and keeping him here because I think he's one of the, the, the heartbeats of this team of this city. Thank you. Cool. Appreciate yes, indeed. Appreciate y'all. Same time on another day. <laughs>